Across the street from One Way 31L at Love Field is a 48,000 square foot facility built to withstand an F3 tornado, the Network Operations Center. It really is the foundation of, of the airline, how it runs. So if the operations centers aren't up and running, the airlines don't run. And that's how, that's how important it is. 350 people are in the center at any given time, keeping watch on 650 active planes. Flight operations, ground operations, dispatch, in-flight operations, maintenance control, safety, security. And anybody who's an operator has, has a seat at the table here in terms of um, their responsibilities. Also in this room, Meteorologist, Southwest employs 10. It's up to us to tell management what's going to happen at any particular time of day within the next couple of days so that they can make decisions that will allow our customers to be able to get to their destinations safely. We do have a band of some showers extending from the desert southwest. There are two briefing sessions a day where the meteorologists present the weather situation for the entire country. They discuss what impact it may have on Southwest flights today, tonight, and tomorrow. I just want to touch base on Tropical Storm Nate. It is due to pass near Cancun. On the day we visited, Tropical Storm Nate was moving through the Caribbean. It had the attention of the operational group. It could develop into a weak Category 1 hurricane. When Hurricanes Harvey, Irma, and Maria hit, everyone was on high alert. It was an unprecedented situation and we needed to know not only when the hurricane was going to move out, but when is the flooding going to go down. But when bad weather hits one part of the country, this center works to keep the rest of the airline operational. The reason the operations center is here is to pre prepare for those things. So without being prepared, then you're kind of really reactive. These positions here to be very proactive because that is just a piece of the Southwest network. So we can control those areas that doesn't cascade through the rest of the network. So with these areas that we look at, we try to isolate a Houston problem or the Florida problem or down in the Caribbean. So we can isolate those and let the rest of the network run as normal. That's what we try to do here, and it's less impact on the entire customer base. It also helps that everyone in the center can see all the gates for all their planes at what they call their mega cities, thanks to cameras. You might think hurricanes or snowstorms would be the toughest weather to predict, but it's something else. It's very difficult to forecast fog. Probably fog is the most difficult. <laughs> Regardless of the weather event, the meteorologists are careful to show what level of confidence they have in a forecast. We give a forecast, but we also let them know, this is my forecast right now, I'm not really confident about it because of this reason. Or, here's my forecast, I'm really confident in this. And they take that as well into consideration when they're making decisions. And they may delay a decision. You know, well, we're not going to cancel this flight just yet because you're not confident in what the weather's going to do, so we're going to wait until we tell all of our passengers a day ahead of time we're canceling for thunderstorms and maybe that's not going to happen. Working in the center can be stressful. When a uh, widespread weather along a frontal system, so like today a lot of the stations along the plains in the Midwest are going to be impacted um, and then when you have other things going on like tropical storms and things like that, that, uh, that just adds additional work you know onto a normal shift. So, you know, I do, we do have another meteorologist typically on duty to help alleviate some of that. And then sometimes we even have an overtime person or extra in to help even more when there's a lot of work piled up. The meteorologists hope their forecast will keep you from showing up for a delayed or canceled flight thanks to Mother Nature. That is exactly what we try to do, is to prevent you from getting to the airport and all of a sudden there's a weather delay. We're, that's our job, is to tell our managers, our decision makers, when the airport may potentially be shut down because of weather.